Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Call Protect on your Minecraft server. Call Protect is a plugin, so you wanted to use a version that does support plugins. I'm going to be using paper for this, but you can also use spigot and bucket. Now this does work all the way up to 1.18, so hopefully your version should be covered. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first you'll want to come through this website here, which I will leave in the description below. Here we can download Call Protect. As you can see, it's been tested on 1.14, all the way up to 1.18, so these are the versions that will work with it. Alright, so now we want to click Download Now. It may ask you where you want to save it, and we'll just keep it in our downloads, and then click Save. I do also recommend we download World Edit. This allows you to select certain regions and check everything for that whole region. Alright, so we're now on the World Edit page, which I will also leave in the description. Alright, so now on the World Edit, we want to go to Download Latest File. Of course, if you are not on the latest version of Minecraft, you want to click File here. And then of course, you select your game version, and then select the one that you need. But for me, I'm on 1.18, so I'll just click Download Latest File. Once again, I'll just keep it in my downloads. And there we go, it's now downloaded. Alright, so we've now got all the files that we need. We can then go back to Pebblehost. Once we're on Pebblehost, we want to go to our file manager on the left. Then you want to go to the Plugins folder and then click upload and file. Then we want to select both our core protect and our world edit bucket and then click open. All right, so our two files have now uploaded. We can then click back. We then want to restart our server. All right, so our server is now online. But before we do log on to our server, we want to go to the left and click on the MySQL database. Alright, so we're now in the tab and it looks exactly like this. As you can see, we're going to follow the steps at the bottom. Choose which plugin to configure and of course, we are installing Core Protect. So you want to click on Core Protect right here. It will then check our server to see if we have the file, which we do. And then as you can see, step 3, confirm. We just want to click configure. And there we go, we've now clicked configure and there we go. And as you can see, we now have our database set up right here. So now, once again, we want to restart our server. Alright, so our server is now restarted and we can go ahead and join it. Alright, so you can check that you have installed the plugins correctly by doing slash plugins. And as you can see, plugins 2, core protect and world edit. That means the two plugins have installed correctly. So now I'm going to show you a few essential commands for core protect. If you're looking on a video for world edit, we do have a whole video on that. So I'll leave it in the description and also in a card at the top right of the screen right now. And I'm going to show you a few commands that you can use for Core Protect. So the first one is the most simple one, and it is simply CO status. This will just show you everything you need to know. So the version, if you're using World Edit, and also that you are using MySQL as the database. It also shows the Discord and Patreon links. That's just general info you might need to know. If you're just looking for a help command, you can simply just do slash CO. And it will show you all the commands that you can do. But the first real command we're going to do is slash co, meaning core protect, and then i. This is also short for inspect. You can do the full word of inspect, but you can also just do i. And there you go, core protect inspector now enabled. So what inspector does is it basically tells you who placed what. So for example, if I go to left click on this block, as you can see, it doesn't break it. And in chat, it says 6.9 minutes ago, Strange Dan placed spruce planks. I could also do this with every single block, as you can see. So you see 7.72 minutes ago, I placed dark oak, then I replaced it with spruce, and then I replaced it with doors. You can see all that kind of information right here. This also works for things like chests, but slightly differently. So of course you can left click the chest to see who placed it. So as you can see, 6.77 minutes ago, I placed the chest. But we can also right click it. And when you right click it, it will show all interactions. So as you can see, 6.55 minutes ago, I placed 13 poppies. And then 6.53 minutes ago, I placed another two poppies. And then 6.40 minutes ago, I placed 13 alliums. And now if we turn off Inspector by doing slash COI once again, there we go, Inspector now disabled, you can see that's exactly what is in this chest. And say I was to take out some of the alliums. There we go, we've removed 10 alliums from the chest. If we do slash COI again to enable Inspector, once again, we can right click on the chest. And there we go, as you see, 0.17 minutes ago, Strange Dan removed 10 alliums. So you can tell if someone is stealing from you or anything like that. 
All right, so I'm now going to be showing you some commands you can do with World Edit. One of these is rollback. So we're going to do slash slash one to get our wooden axe for World Edit. If we left click here and right click over here, it will select this big area. And then if we do slash CO, rollback, and then do time, we can choose how long ago we want to set it to. So if I built this house 10 minutes ago and I did time 11, it would roll back to what it was 11 minutes ago. So of course this house would no longer be here. So actually I'm going to do that. So I'm going to set my time to 15 and then we're going to put an M after that for minutes. And as you can see, it removed the front of the house. And if we do want to restore it to what it was before we did the rollback, we can do slash CO, restore, and then time, colon, 15 minutes. And as you can see, it's added everything back. Now I guess 15 minutes is a bit too much, as we hadn't actually added the doors in 15 minutes ago. Now of course this is useful if anyone uses TNT to grief, as you can simply just roll back the area that they have griefed. So of course there's a whole list of commands on the website, so I'll leave that down below. And if you don't want me to make a video on some more advanced commands, then I will go and do that as well. But this was just a simple setup and a few commands that you can do. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.